This is my brother's sled. It's a 1989 Yamaha Ovitation 340, fan cooled. Um, it's got a Kawasaki seat on it. The skid and track is off from a uh, Articat Pantera, which is 1980, which works quite well. If I might ask or add, everything works on it. Got five thousand four hundred and forty four miles on it, choke works, hand warmers work. It does need gas so it ain't gonna fire up. Got a brand new battery in it for sixty bucks. That's got the registration in it. Pull start works. I can show you the electric start works too. Everything works on it. Oil injector. Nice little 340 fan. This is my mom's sled. This red one. It is a 1990 Clear Sport 440. Uh, it's got ski skins. Uh, it's got an aftermarket AAEN performance exhaust. Uh, aftermarket tail light lens. I will be starting this one for you, I guess. It's got 4,351 miles on it. AEN. Makes it sound nice. I don't know how good the video or the audio quality is going to be on this video, though. So. Oh, I should start, try to start with no choke first. Nope, we're gonna need choke. Only halfway. Mom's. This one's mine. The 97440 ZR Snow Pro. The 90. That one's mine. 93 EXT 550. That one's mine. <laughs> A 96 ZRT 600. This one's my dad's. The 1989 Articat Wildcat 650 carbureted, not the EFI. Got a nice track on it. Well, kind of nice, I should say. It's got a couple more seasons in it. Oh, it's got 1,597 miles on it. And we'll open the hood here. Fiberglass hood, so it's nice. It don't flex as easy. 650. Carbureted. Um, twin pipes. Hopefully, this will start up with no choke, hopefully. Okay. Everything's on. Let's try it here. Oh, thank you for that. Take care of that problem. Just gotta get some oil for it. Now this one is my dad. They uh it's a ninety eight Studio Formula three seven hundred triple Rotex. It's got the rat rave, whatever you want to call it in it. Uh plastic skis. This one is being worked on. Can't get the start for some reason. <clears throat> I think it's just out of gas. It's 
got 5,372 miles on it. A uh, couple, two rips in the seat. Oh, three rips, excuse me. It's got a one and a half camo plast tra challenger track on it. Oh dear. Took the spark plugs out, see if we were still getting spark. Took the air box out. We we're getting spark. I just don't think we're getting gas. Um, other than that, this one ran great. I'm gonna go get some gas for it today, see if that fixes the problem, hopefully. Hopefully. Anyway, got a couple more parts to go too. That's all of our sets right there. Got what? Oh, four, five, got six of them. Or no, we got seven of them that run. Oops. That's a part sled, the 1991 Flares Indy 500. Got a couple more part sleds over here. This one is a part sled. The 19, oh, yeah, 1979. Something like that. Kawasaki Intruder or Invader. It was a 440 liquid, carbureted. If you can see, that motor's toast. It's got mud packed in it and everything else. Good chassis, the hood's junk though. Good skis, aluminum skis. The only thing it needs is a new motor seat. And hood. You guys need parts? Get a hold of me. It's got a good track still on it. <clears throat> oh. Okay. That's not a part slide. That's my brother's other slide, which is a 1971 Yamaha SL 338. We had this running, but it does need a carburetor in order to keep it running. I don't like to pump gas. Nice sled. Just got a carburetor for it. It rings free on it. Nice compression on it. This is another part sled. The uh, uh, 1980 or 1979 Hardcat Pantera 500 Van Cold. We do got the motor for it, which runs. Great, actually. Um, that motor is complete. You guys need the motor or any parts off it? I'd rather sell the whole motor than part the motor out because it runs. The track and skid's gone on this one. We had to use it for another sled. The brakes do work though. You guys need brakes, chassis, whatever. The skis are good. Got wear bars in them, I'm thinking. Yeah, all the gauges did work until we pulled the motor. Oh. Yeah. You guys need any parts? This one, the blue one, and the Indy 500 over there. Just get a hold of me. Oh, and the hood is over here for that Pantera, but it's kind of beat up. I hear. Yep. Okay, just get a hold of me.